Have you ever lost a job because a producer was prejudiced against motion control? I'm going to give you a tip on how to win them over. I'm Matt Chauncey, and welcome to CSU Sessions, where we talk all about motion control, film, and how to grow your business. Today, I just wanted to talk to you about a common reaction or pushback that I often get whenever I try to sell in motion control. Anytime I wanna use a robot on a shoot, I almost always get some pushback. And by far the most common thing that I hear is, is it's too expensive. Now, when a producer says that it's too expensive, they're almost never talking about the rental fee because in all honesty, the rental fee is just a drop in the bucket to the overall budget. What they're talking about is the amount of footage they get for the amount of time on set. That's how producers think. They don't want to hire HMU, G&E, talent, grips, the whole bit, all the things that you need to make a shoot happen. They don't want to hire all those people just to get three to five seconds of usable footage for that day. At least not in the commercial world, they don't. You don't have to go very far back in the history of motion control to get to a place where they were slow and difficult to program and frankly, somewhat unreliable. These unruly robots are still out there. Producers who've had a bad experience with motion control in the past can be a barrier to you and your success. So it's up to you as the owner of a motion control system to break down those barriers with your clients and producers. You can talk to them all day about, you know, how much the technology has changed in the past three years and how they're so much faster and easier to use. You can do that all day long. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the best thing that you can do to sell a producer on motion control is set up a demo. If you can set up a time with your producer and even your director to actually demonstrate just how quick and easy it is to get shots on one of these systems, you're gonna book the gig. In my experience, uh, doing an in-person demo will not only get you the job, it's gonna book you even more jobs. Once they see the robot in action, they're gonna start thinking about how they can use motion control in other projects. So when in doubt, do a demo. Thanks for listening and keep sending in those topics that you'd like me to cover or those questions that you'd like me to answer. And you never know, if it gets featured, you may just win one of these cool Sisu t-shirts. And until next time, happy shooting.